Hey everyone, Tiberius here. I'm mostly known for my tool, Auto Recon, which is an enumeration tool you can use on the OSCP exam as well as on Hack the Box and Try Hack Me boxes. Um, it's pretty popular. Um, it basically does everything for you. It scans the, uh, the hosts and if it finds services, it'll launch other scans like the common example is if it finds HTTP, it'll launch Ferox Buster and, and you know, Nmap and, uh, and other things. But uh, one of the one of the common complaints I get about it is it's just it's just too automated. Like it uh, it takes all the control um, out of your hands and just does does too much. And over the years, I've tried to make it more configurable um, to to put some power back into the user's hands. Uh, but ultimately, that has uh, has failed. So. Um, Today, I, I am announcing the release of a brand new tool, uh, which I think fixes this issue forever. Uh, it is called Semi Auto Recon. Uh, so obviously keep keeping sort of part of the name there. Uh, but the, the main difference is uh, really the, the usability. So instead of automatically doing everything, um, the, the end user needs to actually give explicit permission um, to, to run all the scans. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Well, I, th I think it would, uh, it would be best just to demo it. So um, let's do a, a semi-auto recon scan of just my local machine. Uh, I'll press enter here. And uh, you see the, uh, the top TCP ports plugin is now running. Um, and usually this would run automatically, uh, but as we see here, we have this warning. Semi-Auto Recon wants to execute the following command. Uh, this is just a basic nmap command. Uh, so we can choose to execute this command uh, or skip it. Uh, so I think I'm going to execute this command. Okay, and that's uh, that's now running. Uh, the next thing it does is it does the uh, the all TCP ports scan. Um, so that's going to scan all 65,000 TCP ports. Now, uh, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, um, by, by the way, if you just press enter here, it, uh, it will actually force you to enter something. Um, also, it is uh, case sensitive. So I need to type in all caps. Okay, so we actually skipped that scan. This scan did not run, uh, but it looks like the top TCP ports uh, scan identified these three services and it looks like uh, semi auto recon now wants to run uh, mmap scan against port 22 so this is the ssh scan uh, you know what let's uh, let's execute that so that's now running um, now it wants to nmap scan the dns server so i don't want to run that let's skip that one uh, a zone transfer, sure, why not? Um, just running a, a reverse lookup, you know what, let's skip that one. Ferox Buster takes a long time, let's skip that. Um, saving the, the, the image of the root web page, uh, sure. Let's execute that. Uh, what web? Uh, no, it doesn't really get much information. Um, this looks like a, an HTTP specific MMAP scan. You know what, we can skip that as well. Uh, and now we'll, we run into a few curl commands. So it grabs the, the well-known security file. We can skip that. This is just curling the, uh, the root page. You know what, let's do that. Uh, the robots.txt, yeah, that can be useful. Let's execute that. And uh, yeah, and now we're done. So hopefully uh, people will enjoy having a bit more control over your auto recon scans with uh, semi-auto recon. Uh, thank you very much.